Remember when we couldn't illuminate our nights? No, before that. No, even before that. That's more like it. In the cosmic scale of things, man-made light at night only happened in the last few moments of human existence. This abrupt change has had a big impact on natural cycles that occur in our bodies, cycles that are regulated by hormones. Many call this built-in, hormone-driven body schedule our circadian clock. The sun was the first metronome that dictated the tempo of our circadian rhythms. Every day, the sun would simply rise and set, and our ancestors' bodies evolved over millions of years to take cues from this natural phenomenon. When the sun is higher up in the sky, the light diffuses through the atmosphere in a way that produces bluer tones of light. And when the sun is lower in the sky, we see more reddish tones. Research has recently pointed out that alongside the rods and cones everyone is familiar with, our ancestors also developed these special receptors that are sensitive to light color. When the receptors sense light that is more bluish, the brain commands less melatonin production. This decrease in melatonin and other sleep-promoting hormones would give our ancestors the energy they needed to cope with their demanding world of hunting and gathering. When the sun would set, the caveman's world would turn red. This would trigger the brain to create far more melatonin, which would give our ancestors the quality of sleep they needed to cope with the next day. Better sleep at night can stabilize moods, regulate healthy eating patterns, and provide more focus energy for the caveman's next difficult day of survival. Things haven't changed much at all, but what has changed is the light that we are exposed to. Just about every convenient electronic device these days has disproportional amounts of blue light emission, preventing our chances of getting sleep naturally. Artificial lighting like LEDs and CFLs are the worst offenders, emitting tons of inescapable blue light spectrum at night. This is good news for pharmaceutical companies and caffeinated drink makers, but bad news for people that want to get good sleep. Saffron is changing how we think about lighting and our internal circadian clock with the new silk light. Check out the silk light by Saffron and Sweet Dreams.